guys, what's up? It is Dennis, and I'm back with some more Pokemon Red. In the last episode, we caught two out of the three legendary birds, Articuno and Zapdos. And in this episode, you might be wondering where I just flew to from, um, well, where I just flew to from uh, Cinnabar Island. Well, if you don't recognize a place, let me just get out of the area a little quick. This is Viridian City. Yep, I know you got, I know it looks weird. And before we do anything, uh, first order of business, you can use Surf right here. And if you cross this water, talk to this guy. I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this dream about a drowsy eating my dream. What's this? Where did this TM come from? This is spooky. Here, you can have a TM. TM42, which I believe is Dream Eater. Uh, let's check it out. It is Dream Eater. It's a move that, well, eats dreams. Only works while your sleep is a 100 power psychic type move that drains both HP and adds to your own. But, now that we're back in Viridian City, you're probably wondering why we're back in Viridian City. Well, you know what? I'll tell you. Do you remember that gym that was locked all that time ago? The Viridian City Pokemon gym. Well, how about with seven gym badges? Let's talk to this guy. Viridian Gym's leader returns. You can walk right in. Now, for the first time, Probably in this whole Let's Play, I'm worried that I'm gonna lose a fight. Because this gym is no laughing matter. Trust me. And as usual, I'll be battling all the trainers. I need the experience. <laughs> Must be running out of steam by now. Don't know what you mean by that, but... Okay. Cool trainer wants to fight. Sand Slash. So if you couldn't guess, this is the ground type gym. And, well, it can be very scary at times, so I, there is no, as high leveled as I was throughout this adventure, no more. I am not high level anymore, and I will have some serious problems with this gym, I'm sure of it. Maybe not the gym trainers themselves, because, ooh, X attack, ooh, trainer. Maybe not the uh, gym trainers themselves, but certainly uh, the leader. I will have a problem with it. Actually, maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. I I'm not sure, actually. No. And we defeat a cool trainer. Or, uh, I ran out of gas. Let's get this item. Uh, okay. Let's not leave first. Da, 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 da. Roar! I'm working myself into a rage. <laughs> I said that in the least rage filled voice possible. Alright! Black Belt wants to fight. Black Belt's on a Machop. Alright. Level 40? Jeebus. That is, that is a pretty high level for this point in the game. I do say so myself. But he's dead. Cause critical hit is awesome. 99.6% chance. That's a lot. Oh. Machop. Actually, you know what? Zap is probably not going to get a lot of action. So I'm gonna send Zappa out. Cause I'm afraid Zappa's gonna fall behind if I don't give her... Or, actually there's no gender in Pokemon yet. Seriously? Seriously. Seriously. Right. Come on, Zappa, just a little more. And then the pointless critical hit. Thank you. Ward. Talk to you. Pokemon and I, we make wonderful music together, yeah. Well, I guess maybe, maybe it's not so bad. I, maybe I won't have that tough of a time. Alright, Tamer wants to fight us. Rhyhorn. Right. Go Seedless. Seedless, use Razor Leaf. Yeah, see, regular trainers are higher level than I am, so... Uh, it's starting to get a little tough. I mean, I'm very well typed. Type-wise for this gym, but still. You are in perfect harmony. That I am, that I am. Talk to you! Da -da -dun -dun. The truly talented wing with style. Okay, whatever you say. You know? Cool trainer. 
Send out Rhyhorn! Yeah, these Rhyhorn are jokes. That's one thing I was not worried about. I am not gonna have any problem whatsoever just disposing of these Rhyhorn. And he's dead. Critical hit. And that should be a level, actually. It is. 43. Growth! A move that raises your special attack one stage, and I learned it fully evolved at level 43. No, thank you. My move set is already set, so. Alright. Um, I'm going to send a. my. who will I put in front? Let's put, uh, Superstar. She hasn't gotten much action recently. Um, so. And then, maybe, maybe Zap won't get too much action. I just want her to do something in this gym. Alright. And there's a revival. Big item. So the gimmick of this is the little spinny thingies. If you go on these uh, little things, whatever they're called, they boost you to the direction they're pointing at, and you can fight a trainer. Your Pokemon will count. Crap, my whip. Whatever you say, Tamer, with an Arbok. Um, that's not a ground type, stupid. Um, well, let's strength you see how much damage that was. That should do at least half. It did. Don't you dare, poison. Don't you dare. Thank you. If it got a critical hit and poisoned, I would have yelled. Thank God I didn't have to yell. Alright. And there's another level up, Go Superstar. Tauros. Um... Actually, you know what? We will send him Zappa for this one. Tauros is a normal type Pokemon. That's actually a rare encounter. I don't... To be honest, Tauros is really rare. I don't even know how to get it. Um... I think you have to get it very... Seriously. That's all you can do with a super effective attack. That's not very good. Stomp, that's gonna do a lot. Yeah. Let's see how much fun Teebol does. Should do quite a bit. There we go. That's more like it. Alright. Yowch with Flash. Alright. Um. I do not have many healing items. I only have four lemonades left. I have to remember to buy some. Um. Before. <laughs> Alright, let's send in Onion. Sounds good. We'll ship Superstar to the back of the party. Alright, we're good. Let us continue. And another trainer. What a surprise. Karate is the ultimate form of martial arts. Whatever you say. Alright, Black Bell, what you got? Machuke. Alright. Dang, oh. Onion may lose this, guys. I may... I'm just gonna Earthquake see what happens. But, I'm scared a little bit, because this Machuke can, can do some damage on this. Oh, but he uses Focus Energy. Which, I believe the way Focus Energy works, Focus Energy... Lower uh, does not give you a chance to critical hit if you're lower than a uh, lower speed than the opponent you use it on, and if you're uh, faster, it does nothing. So that's a, it's a useless attack. Thank you for using it. Acho. Okay. And let's battle this guy. Just get him out of the way. Because we're eventually going to have to battle. Bree and Jim was close uh, for a long time, but now our leader needs some build-up. So who is this leader? Bree! Need a rhino. Nice. That's actually perfect. Earth. I'll, I'll, I'll earthquake you. And you'll go down. Super effective. Heck yeah. Alright, what's next? Nido King? Ha! What a joke. 
Earthquake, you're dead. Goodbye. Be nice and critical. Actually, I, if it doesn't, I don't know if that's a one shot. Never mind, it's Earthquake. What would I? Well, how? Why was I even doubting Onion? He's a he's a beast. All right. Uh oh, I may have gone on the. No, I actually didn't that. All right. With all of that taken care of, let let us now go. All the way up here, there's one guy left to battle. Well, poop, he's blocking the way. That's not good. Alright. Machoke, well, 38. Okay, um... Onion hit him with an earthquake. You should be dead. No! Oh, but you're stupid, you folks, energy. I'll just finish you off with Slash, which is 99.6% chance of criticaling. And level up? Nope. Machop. Oh. Okay, so you're getting weaker. I see how it is. I'll Earthquake you. Machop may die with one hit of Earthquake. Ugh. Poop. Ouch. Let's slash it. Alright. Is that gonna be a level up? Let's see. Come on, Onion. Level up. There we go. That's... That's my Onion. Alright. Machoke. Let's send in... I'm, I don't want Kevin to take any damage. So let's send out Zappa. Alright. And let's... Thunderbolt. It'll probably survive with a sliver of health. No! Dang, Zappa! You are strong! Aya! Alright. With that taken care of, I'm gonna put Kevin in the front of the party. And Onion in the back. In the way back. Alright. And since these things are so slow, I'm only going to take the required one. Okay. Now, with all that taken care of, sorry if that took a while. Now, because we took down that guy, we can just walk around all of these guys. We got on you already. We already got on you. And, oh my god. Save before you fight as usual, I'm not going to. Wah, this is my hideout. I plan to resurrect Team Rocket here. But you have caught me again, so be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. That's right, the final gym leader is Giovanni. It was a big twist, and Fire Red and Lee Green was the first game I ever played, and it's just a remake of this game, and when I saw this, I was shocked. Right, we're fighting Giovanni again. He starts out with a Rhyhorn, level 45, Ground Rock type. Stop, Tail Whip, Furry Attack, and Horn Drill. Are its moves. Horn Drill is a one hit KO move, but all normal type moves, horrible special defense, the horrible spectral and speed. This thing is a joke. You should be able to knock it out with one shot. Kevin is going to be a beast in this fight. Doug Trio is his next Pokemon. Um. I'll stay with Kevin. Duck Trio, level 42, ground type, moves growl, dig, sand attack, and slash. Nothing really to worry about either, so don't worry about it. Alright, and it's taken down. The next Pokemon, Nido Queen, level 44, poison ground type, moves scratch, tail whip, body slam, and poison sting. Um, I'm gonna serve this thing. Sort of destroyed Geobot. I, I don't know why I was so worried. Maybe because I saw the levels and that was a little intimidating, but this is a piece of cake right now. Level 43, heck yeah. Hmm. Nido King. Um. 
I'll just keep Kevin in. He can sweep. Nido King, level 45. Poison Ground type moves Tackle. Horn Attack, Poison Sting, and Thrash. The only thing you really have to worry about is Thrash. And maybe I guess he can poison you. But Thrash, Thrash can do some damage. So he can. If Nido King survives this, I might take quite a bit of damage. But he doesn't, because it's a critical. Kevin, you are awesome. And his final Pokemon, Rhydon, level 50. Grand Rock type, Stomp, Tail Whip, Fissure, and Horn Drill. Both Fissure and Horn Drill are one hit KO moves if he gets them off. But because he is so slow, he cannot actually get them off. Because you have one hit KO moves only for myth Pokemon that aren't slower than you. And five Surfs beat this guy. He's a joke. Giovanni's been defeated. Ha! That was truly an intense fight. You have won. That's proof. Here is the Earth Badge! We got plenty of money for winning. The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey. These your evidence of mastery to Pokemon training. With it, you can enter the Pokemon League. This is my gift for your Pokemon League challenge. And TM27, which is Fissure, I won a KO move. That's it, guys! Seriously, we... I had no problems just completely wiping the floor with Giovanni once again. He is maybe the easiest boss, uh, he is one of the easiest boss fights in Pokemon. Because he's that weak. I'm not very sorry to say. I'm glad. Because I was uh, a little worried about this gym, but no, I beat it with flying colors. That is awesome. And before I forget, I told myself I would do this. I'm gonna go buy some uh, healing items and heal. Okay, so I actually had to fly to Cinnabar Island to get the healing items. I also bought a bunch, so I bought a bunch of hyper potions, um, deposited all my TMs in my uh, one rare candy that I had, and did all of that stuff. So in the next episode, at, with all eight gym badges in hand. We will head off for the Elite Four. Until then, see you later, or next week.